Ahoy, salty dogs! Lens Cap here, and today we're playing Star Maid. This is episode number 13. In the previous episode, we built our shiny new bumblebee drone, uh, the Hornet. And I'm actually going to remove, let's see, I don't have the hull on me. I was going to take that camera out. Um, I don't believe we actually need it. I think we can still dock from uh, from the cockpit or from the ship core or whatever. So I flew out a little way so that we'd get away from the massive lag from the station we live at because it's awful. I'm going to have to build my own station here relatively soon. But uh, today we are going to do some work on the drone bay uh, for our next big ship. So I've got some things with me. And let's actually hop in and then back out of this ship. Um, we're going to spawn a core. This is drone bay testing. And this is what we're doing today. We're going to uh, develop the drone bay. Let's see, where's my drone? We're going to develop the drone bay for uh, for this guy. So, first of all, we need to know exactly how big this ship is. So, I count one. So, that's the center axis. So, she is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks tall. And one, two, let's see. So, there's three, four, five, six. That's going to be seven wide, right? One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine wide. Okay. So she's nine blocks wide, yeah, and seven blocks tall. Now is that small enough to be supported by a rail? Let's hop in this and orient ourselves with system, um, just so that we're all kind of on the same plane. Look at that, even just looking in this direction flips out my frames. Okay, wow, that's crazy. Okay, so we're going to face this way. Let's just face sector direction. Uh, we need to hop into build mode. Now, what are we going to do? How's this going to work? What? Why floating? Oh my gosh, I'm so disoriented. <laughs> okay. We need to f build our drone bay. So we'll just make a... Uh, first, we'll just make a frame, like a shell of it. Here, let's turn on some symmetry, actually. We want this one. Okay. So that's as wide as the drone is. So we need to go one wider. How deep is it? At its deepest point. That's the stinger. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten deep. Mm. All right. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then how tall do we decide? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the size of our drone bay. And I wanted to have four drones at least uh, on our ship. Well, that's not too unreasonable, I don't feel like. I mean, that's pretty big, but not un unbearable. Now let's put a let's put a rail in here and make sure that our drone can dock. I believe the, let's see, I believe the rail, oh my gosh, I can't even see from this angle uh, that one. Yep. Okay, now let's try and dock to it. Make sure that we can fit. Oh, I'm still in, uh, in build mode. Derp. 
I'm gonna have to go even farther away from that thing, dude. This is crazy. Hop in here. Number three. And we're docked. Now, does it actually fit? It doesn't. It doesn't actually fit in the box we laid out. It needs to be one at least wider in each uh, in the front and the back. How about widthwise? Does she fit widthwise? Only just, but that's all we need. All right, so let's hop back in this. Hop back into build mode because we got to make this sucker stick out one further. All right, so that's the size of our drone bay. We can do this off camera. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is set up our drone launching system. We'll go ahead and, and build that too. Um, just to get an idea for how the drone launching is going to work. And then maybe we can start on the frame of the ship today. That would be nice. That would be nice. So that's my plan. Uh, for today's episode. That's what we want to accomplish. We want to get the drone base figured out, completely figured out, and then start on the frame for uh, the big ship. Okay, so we've got uh, kind of drone bay framed out here, and I think this is going to work. Uh, we want to test it really quick. I haven't tested it yet. Um, but So we've got our drone parked in the bay. This is bay one. Uh, this is going to be Bay 2. We're going to have Bays 3 and 4 as well. Um, I think we're probably just going to have 4 Bays. We might have 6. Um, it just depends on how this test goes and, and uh, how big the ship kind of ends up being with 4 Bays. Although, 6 Bays could be cool. Definitely more drones is always good. Okay, anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is more of a test. Uh, so we want to go ahead and hop in. Let's, let's actually let's put a camera down to make sure that everything works. Uh, where do we want this? Let's put it... Okay, this would, this would be a good spot. We'll just put it right here underneath the, the cannons, and I actually just noticed that uh, these cannons are not going to work. Uh, I think. Uh, how can I make the cannon shoot sideways? Um, the cannon computer, first of all, let's, okay, let's remove the cannon computer and the cannons because that, uh, uh, is already, we already know that that's going to be done wrong. And there's a cannon computer over here just because I had symmetry on. Okay, um, so now we want the cannon computer, does it matter which direction this thing faces? If it does, we want it facing that way, but we'll face the cannons as well that way. Just to make sure that, and then that one is the one we want to output. Okay, now we want to take this, make sure those are all slaved. They are. Make that one the output. Slave that to the cannon computer so it gives the push effect. We don't want to just shoot our drone. And I think we're ready to give it a try. Let's hop in the cockpit, switch cameras. Now here's drone number one. Here we go. Power failure. Aha! Of course, we need power to activate systems. That makes too much sense. <laughs> okay, a good thing I've got some power reactors on me. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's set up some reactors. Now, we know we're going to need this to be pretty uh, efficient as far as power goes. So let's just go ahead and if make this an efficient power system. Okay. And then three planes is the best, right? That'll work. We need more power. We've got plenty of room to add more, but that's 12,000 energy per second. That should be fine just to fire one drone. Uh, so let's try this now. It didn't happen. 
Uh, oh, because the logic. Did it undock successfully? Uh, probably not, actually. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I didn't ever link that to that. <laughs> Oops. This is just not my, uh, my test here. Okay, but that's why we test. Alright, now we've got the logic hooked up. Let's try this again. Okay, it shot the bullet. I saw it shoot. But I don't believe the undock mechanism worked. No, we're still docked. Why did that not undock us? Maybe it just needs another cycle? Let's try again. Okay, I saw it shoot. But it's not undocking for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna have to mess with this and figure this out. Okay. Here we go, let's see. Time for a test. Um, I've got the frame laid out here. This is pretty cool, <laughs> if I do say so myself. I think it looks awesome. And they're kind of tileable, so that's neat. Um, I've only got one drone for now and one test for now. Um, but that's all we need. This is proof of concept, really, at this point. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this works. I've tried about eight or 10 different things, but uh, we're gonna give this one a go. I've got a camera right here so we can see what happens. Let's put our no data on the bar. I forgot to name it. And activate. Undocked and fired. Okay, so it worked. And I think I see what the problem was. So that's awesome. So here's what we're going to do. So here's what happened. This was not slave to the push. But it was. Now wait a minute. Now what's the problem? It fired, but it didn't push. So what's that about? We undocked, though. So that's good. This is going to need a little bit more refining. Oh, crap. Oh, gee. oh no. This is bad. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm in quite a pickle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know how to get out of this. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm tracked in the dock. Okay, maybe we can... Oh, I'm free. Okay. Oh, sh not that one. Dock. Okay. Oh. Come on, dock. Hit the docker. There we go. Okay, now can I... Oh, oh. Okay, whew. Oh, my God. <laughs> maybe I need to, uh... Make that dock less kind of constrained <laughs> while I test this. <laughs> All right, so I... Whoa. Okay, I got to remember that. There's a little stutter when I first hit record. Okay, so uh, I've got everything all wired up on... Uh... I've got the docking mechanism wired up on this side, but I've got the arm extension on this side. So that's all done. I just need to add this line of delays over here and uh, still hook up the wireless stuff to put in a drone. I've got the cannon on this side and everything ready. We're basically ready to test this. Um, I just want to kind of extend this to get a, uh, a camera in here first. Oh, and I also need a ship remote. Let's see, which I don't think I have on my bar. Inner ship remote there. Are we moving? Is that station moving? Stop moving. Okay. Weird. Okay. Uh, which one is our inner ship remote there? We're just going to put that there. We're going to take this and slave it to this. Uh, we're going to name it uh, Drones 1 and two because it's gonna fire both of them uh, let's go ahead and deactivate this signal now this will pull our drone back into the bay and it would pull in this drone as well um, if um, 
if we had one. I'm actually going to name this Launch Drones because we want it to launch all of them at once. Um, I'll show you the logic if this works. <laughs> if. That's a pretty big if. Okay, so we're going to extend this out here so we can put a camera underneath and kind of watch what goes on. And uh, cameras, I definitely have some. Here we go. Uh, we'll put it, yep, that works. Even facing the proper direction. Uh, let's see, is there any more, are there any more preparations we need to make before we start this? I think we're good. Let's turn off lighten. Hop back in the cockpit. Switch over to our camera. Oh yeah, we'll be able to see what's going on great here. Um, okay, let's pull launch drones onto our bar. Oh my gosh, can you guys tell? I'm so excited. Okay, deep breath. Here we go. Now, only the drone on the left should launch, but the, the right bay, the arm should extend out. Oh, uh, ready? Okay, we got both arms extending. How's the timing? Timing is good. Cannon didn't fire. But everything else worked. So really quickly then, let's uh, let's see if we can't uncover why our cannon didn't fire. Um, let's go ahead and deactivate this. Oh, I need to do that from in here. And that'll automatically pull the drones back in once they're launched. I almost should set that up to being on its own timer. Look, when this deactivates, that's what does it. When this deactivates, it flips this. Maybe because they're touching? I'm not sure. We could put the wireless module maybe somewhere else. Um, we could put it there. Let's do that. Do I have a black hull? Oh yes, this is gonna be great. Okay, let's let's try that to see if that'll if that'll work. If it does work, it's gonna be more well hidden anyway. Look, it's gray right there anyway. Okay, so we need our wireless module. Um, button, wireless logic. Put it there. Put that there. Uh, now we need to reassign. So this one, activate that one with C. Assign it to this one with V. That's connected. Um, should I? Yeah, I'll go ahead and put this wedge here. Although we'll probably need to. Whoops. We'll probably need to get back to that module because. Uh, what? So that. Okay. Um, because things. Yep, I forgot to connect it up to this. <laughs> All right, let's fix this docking guy. So this rail docker. So it's in the right place. And then we need to figure out what's going on with our cannons. Why that didn't fire. I'll just leave that open for now. Now, why didn't our cannons fire? That's linked to that. Those. I mean, it's definitely assigned properly. Alright, pull the drone back into the bay. And I'm aligned with the drone. Because I just docked it. Hop in our ship core. Uh, we're in flight mode. That's good. So let's go ahead and launch drones. Okay, that worked. I don't know that the push effect is really necessary or pow powerful enough in its current state to actually do anything. I've got eight cannons and eight push modules. Um, so I'm not sure about that, but it seems like it works. Guys, that's awesome. We got a system, we got rails working, and I learned a whole lot from this project. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm at least getting comfortable with logic here. So um, let's quickly, we'll go over how it works. It's super simple. Um, and then, uh, then we'll end the episode there. But for you guys who are interested to see how I did this, um, let's actually turn off this ship remote. Well, no, we'll do it this way. 
Okay, so the way this works, and imagine this side is mirrored on the other side as well. So the way this works, I've got my inner ship remote connected to an activation module. Um, this activation module is connected to two NOT gates, uh, one NOT gate on each side. Now I did this with only two rails to try and minimize the amount of blocks used, so these NOT gates are switched on either side. Um, but what happens when you hit this activation rail, the NOT gates are linked up to each other. So this activation rail uh, obviously is connected to this NOT gate and this NOT gate. Uh, no, vice versa. So if this is on, then these are off. Um, if these are off, then these are on. Okay, uh, this side, these two govern this rail. These two govern this rail. Um, and then uh, this activation module is also connected to these two wireless modules. Um, the reason I have two wireless modules is you can't connect multiple wireless modules to each other. So like one transmitter, one receiver. You can't have one transmitter, two receivers, right? I tried that, I would have done it that way. Um, but they connect to these guys. The reason they have to be wireless modules is this arm that extends out is actually its own ship. It's a completely different ship. Um, it has a rail docker. It docks on these rails and uh, extends. Um, so when, when you apply a signal to the, to the rails themselves, if we look at this not signal, uh, you can see it's linked to these rails here. Um, and it's backwards. Whatever, it works. So, uh, and as well, so is this one. Um, and these are linked together, you can see as well. So, um, obviously, like, because this is the active signal? I'm not sure, but for some reason they're backwards from, from what these rails are. But it works, so that's, that's what matters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, basically, what happens is, when you hit the button, um, these rails switch directions, which pushes that ship out. It also switches directions of these rails due to this logic up here. And uh, that extends that and extends the drone along the bottom set of rails as well. Um, once, once everything starts extending, that triggers this delay chain. It's about six seconds long, um, which is 12 blocks. So each, each delay is about half a second. Um, once they get to the end, there's this wireless activation module there. That's linked to a wireless module in the drone, um, which tells it to undock. So uh, it takes about 12 seconds for the arms to extend, 6 seconds for the arms to extend. Um, and then the drone undocks when it's about at the end. It's a little bit longer. I could probably get rid of one of these blocks, but that's fine. Um, and then one second later, the cannon fires and hits the drone. Uh, let, now, I don't know if the cannon is necessary in this case, but I feel like it does help... Um, get the drone, you know, further out of the base so there's at least enough clearance so that if we're in a firefight, uh, you know, I don't want my drones, like, um, I don't want the drones just kind of doing their own thing right out of the gate and uh, crashing into each other or my ship. Um, but let me know in the comments if that's actually necessary because it seems like it actually extends the drone out far enough that I, I'm not sure that I need the push module. Um, I still need the delay for release, but... Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And if you like this design, uh, tell me about that too, because we're about to implement it in our ship next episode, And uh, but I, I dig it pretty far. Pretty far. Um, we're going to have to do something about the power. I moved it, and I don't like the placement. I'm going to have to move it again, uh, just because the way that these logic blocks interact um, with this rail, it's not quite going to work there. Um, but let me know if you like the, dis the layout of the drone bay. And uh, we're going to stick this in our ship, hopefully. Um, we're going to start on that next episode. I don't know how many episodes it's going to take to finish it. Um, but there is our basic idea. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.